Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles, Great Millstone, for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb, word of God. Shalom, brothers and sisters. It's going to be a short epistle, man. You know, through the spirit and through the power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Um... Once again, you know, declaring these words of truth. Now, this this epistle here um, is centered around, uh, you know, having this truth, having this wisdom and knowledge and understanding that Yahweh Hashem Hashem has given us, man, to guide us uh, and uh, you know, uh, give us the understanding in these days that's coming up ahead, you know, to be able to, you know, to to uh, to be stable. You know, as the stripper proclaims, Isaiah chapter chapter thirty three verse six, ye shall know the truth. Salaki, um, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Right, I got truth on my mind, bro. Truth is on the mind this morning, because that's what we're talking about right here. Understanding this word of truth, you know this this uh, this hope of salvation, this joy, you know, uh, coming out of darkness into this marvelous light. You know, being led by Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, so when all these calamities start to befall this this place, this judgment that's about to rain down, you know, how about Shemasha has called us out of that darkness into this marvelous light, brothers and sisters. Um, yeah, yesterday, you know, uh, I had a hard time, man, uploading the, the epistle. I'm talking about a hard time, bro. Not going into any details or anything like that. But I remembered the scripture, you know, throughout that, that time in the in the book of Luke. I'm going to go get it real quick. Luke, I want to do it on the blue letter real quick. Uh, Luke, chapter 22, verse 31, right? And, of course, we bring this out a lot. It says, And Yahweh Bashim shot and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren, right? I remember that scripture throughout that ordeal, you know, that Satan desired to have us, that has sift us as wheat. I remember the blue letter, you know, that sifting, uh, which means to, uh, we're going to go to it right now. I'm going to go ahead and start. I got this little background music queued up. I'm going to go ahead and play that now. But that sifting means by inward agitation. To try one's faith to the verge of overthrow, man. I thought about that. You know, you know, I thought about that, and I thought, you know, it's. Um, I thought about in this time that's coming up. We're gonna be tried. We're being tried right now. You know, getting getting ourselves ready and prepared for this time that's coming up ahead, bro. Um, as the stripper proclaimed, it's gonna be a time like no other. But. The Lord is getting us ready, man. He's, he's bringing us through the fire right now. All these little little uh, afflictions in the flesh, these little trials here, to get us closer and closer to you. How about Shema Shah to build up our faith even more? So I calmed down, you know, and, and understood. Yeah, you how about Shema Shah declared the end from the beginning, and everything that happens is His will. And I just said, you know what? I'll, 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 I'll get it done. It's going to get done either after the plantation, you know, because I was trying to go back and forth, you know, trying to sneak off, sneak away to get it done and all that stuff, man. I was like, just calm down. You know, as a stretch, resist the devil and he shall flee, bro. Um, and it, it, it uploaded, man. Uh, and I was like, wow, look at that. You know, instead of freaking out. And that's you know these time of Jacob, these time of Jacob's trouble that's coming up now, you know, understanding uh, the sword of Yahweh Hashem, Esau, Edom, with all the wiles of the devil, all the things he's doing, you know, uh, all the persecution that's that's at hand, you know, that's coming up. We have a lot of things about to happen, man, and we gotta be well rooted and grounded in the faith, you know, living these words, bro. Okay, not talking too much. Just want to, let's get into some scriptures, man. Let's get into these scriptures and get and, and uh, bring out this epistle. You know, living, we're living this word. We have to apply these words in our daily walk. Okay? Going to the book of Luke chapter 22, verse 42. 
understanding even the Messiah, you know, in the flesh. Saying, you know, before before they took him, saying, Father, if, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thy, but thine be done, right? Understanding that all this is orchestrated of Yahweh Bashim Ashai. And his will be done, not our will. Ultimately, believing, having that faith in Yahweh Bashim Ashai. You know, thinking about the things that are to come rather than the things that are at hand. And knowing that we must go through through much tribulation, we shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But, Yahweh Bashim Ashai has given us this truth. He's given us his word. You know? To build us up in this faith in this time. That's what this, this grace period is for, bro. And wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy time. Okay? We're going to the book of Matthew. Chapter 3, verse 11. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Right, because what the scriptures say, many are called, but few are chosen, bro. But he shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, and with fire, brothers and sisters. You know, so, all, hey, all praises to you, how about Shema Shai? Because this is prophecy being fulfilled. Okay? Prophecy being fulfilled. And as Elder Apostle Gabar always say, the phone had the chime on that one. Okay, as the scripture proclaims, you know, uh, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free, man. All right, now we're going to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23. Oh, look, I've, I've, I, uh, Salaki, bro, I'm, I'm in to put this thing on, uh, on repeat. Let me, let me, let me get it done now. Okay, Jeremiah. Chapter 23, verse 29. Is not my word like fire, said Yahweh Shemashai, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock into pieces? Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, said Yahweh Shemashai, that steal my words, even one from my, his neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophets. Say Yahweh Shemashah that use their tongues and say he said. Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams. Say Yahweh Shemashah and do tell them and cause my people to err by their lies and by their likeness. Yet I sent them not nor commanded them. Therefore, they shall not profit this people at all. Say Yahweh Shemashah. Right, you know we are in a privileged position, man. Yahweh Shemashah has has set up up above, you know, to look around and to see all these things that's happening, you know. As, you, as, as the scriptures say, we have the mind of Yahweh Shemashah. We see these false prophets out here that's still uh, denouncing the MOTB. Brother just made an epistle the other day. Was it yesterday about uh, IUIC, I think it was, trying to, still talking about, it's a freaking embargo, bro. But we know about the, the medicine here being pushed. You know, the prelude to the M-A-R-K, the prophecy being fulfilled, that, that thing, that, you know, that, uh, that chip they want to put inside you. These are the prophecies. You know, as, as, as Yehobah Shemashah say, you know, one of, the, one of my favorite scriptures in the book of 1 Peter, chapter 2, verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. You know, so for because many are called, but few are chosen, man. You know, there's a lot of children of Israel, a lot of uh, Negroes, Hispanic, and Native American Indians has woken up to the fact that they're, they're the children of Israel, but they don't have that, that breath, you know, that spirit of understanding, bro. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1. Arise and shine for the light is come. And the glory of Yahweh Shemashah is risen upon thee. For behold the darkness shall cover the earth. And gross darkness the people. But Yahweh Shemashah the Lord shall arise upon thee. And his glory shall be seen upon thee. Okay. 
Right. Yeah, how about Shimasha? It's called us out of that darkness into this marvelous light to believe these words and understand these words. Hold on now. You know, hold on to this word of truth that we have. Right? The spirit of discernment. The, 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 the spirit to understand and say, hey, no, we, we, we can't do that. You know, because we believe that Yahweh Hashem is going to come and redeem us out of this hell hole. We believe that this kingdom is about to be destroyed, bro. Prophecy is being fulfilled right now. So we are, are you know, not being a part of this world. We're not being a part of this wicked world. We're, uh, we're denying ourselves, you know. We're mortifying our members. Um... You know, we're, we're, forsa we're forsaken all, in short, as the scripture proclaims us to do, man, because of this word of truth. You know? Let's go to the book of John. And because a lot of people, they, a lot of people can't do this. This is a remnant. Yahweh know, Shema Shah said, only a remnant shall, shall return. Only a remnant shall be saved. This is the book of John, chapter 15, verse 3. Now are ye clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Okay? Now are you clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. These words are washing and cleaning us. The spirit of truth, bro. How wherewithal shall a young man clean his way? By taking heed to every word, right? Verse 4. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. Right, stay plugged in, my man. Have these words of truth run, running through you and, 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 and use them throughout the day. I mean, they should be in you and you should be in them throughout the day, throughout your walk. You know, to help you stand against the wiles of the devil. You know, to help you walk through this wicked ass world. You know, even we've been vexed with the Holy Spirit throughout this place. Over and over again, but we stay right here, you know, rebuking all these, all these things that we see, and uh, in this time of Jacob's trouble, you know, just enduring until the end. Lord willing, He'll put the Spirit on us to understand, be like, okay, yeah, this, this is all, it's all planned out, you know, this is, it's right on course, and be thankful for that. Oh, great, this is good, man, this is good. Oh, yeah, they're getting jacked up over there. Great, yeah. <laughs> Like the brother from uh, L.A. yesterday, man, made a, uh, an epistle. I caught the tail end of it, man. But, uh, yeah, man, about all those all those jakes that were getting jacked up during Halloween. People getting ran over with cars. It was like seven people got ran over at one time. And they were like, they were uh, the, the news was talking about broken bones. And they were crying out for help. And, man, we were just we were just laughing. We were just laughing, laughing, laughing. All praises to you. How about Shemasha? Judgment. Judgment, bro. And uh, this word of truth, you know, we're understanding that this judgment needs to take place. Because the whole head is sick. You know? They're wandering after the beast. Esau, Edom, this king, this wicked ass kingdom's got to be, got to come down, bro. Let's go to the book of Romans. Chapter 10, verse 17. So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Right, this faith that we have, you know, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Hashem Shai, coming by hearing. You got to hear these words, receive them, believe them, and that's a, it's a gift of faith. One to the book of Second Ezra, chapter nine, verse seven. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in, the, in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Right. See all now all these things they're starting to make sense a little even more and more. You know that's why we're cleaving and hoping to be a part of that 144 elect number, man. We believe in this. There's a lot of uh, you know these Israelite camps out here that that that, that want to build up the nation. 
they don't they don't believe of the remnant you know they don't believe this report right but what the Lord say and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works you know and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said peril shall be preserved from the said perils brothers and sisters okay and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning and brothers are uh, giving testimonies now they're having dreams now of angels helping them you know showing them the way to go food all these things you know as the scripture proclaims my servant shall eat we, we're looking at uh, great famines about to happen we're looking at march, martial law about to happen you know and we're hoping and, and hastening that day so we can get the hell out of here because of these words right here because we believe in these words saying that we're going to be preserved from these sad perils you know book of revelations chapter 12 verse 11 and they overcame once again man all these words are like past tense and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they love not their lives unto the death I'm so sorry my man but I don't love it I don't love it here man I really don't we're just not saying that we're not just you know saying that no I'm about to you know you know uh time to go to plantation now you know what is what what is there to love bro wickedness turning things upside down what is there to love bro hmm the harlot wife that's gone with your, with your kids and shit huh the system that's set up against you uh, putting your money in the bag full of holes what is there to love bro broke down cars these curses these stiff neck jakes what is there to love bro And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they loved not their lives unto the death right they overcame this wicked ass society this wicked ass world all these lies you know that's been pushed on us all these philosophies all these doctrines all these falsehoods we're all one people votes make a difference March make a difference all this bullshit and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb because you believed in the word how about Shema Shah said he that believeth in me is not condemned but he that believeth not is condemned already we, we gotta be covered with that blood bro hmm you gotta repent with our whole heart so your sins will be blotted out man we have to believe and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb by the blood of the lamb you know predestination and by the word of their testimony and they love not their lives unto the death going to the book of Isaiah chapter 10 verse 20 again and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such are escaped of the house of Jacob Right, because they, 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 they believe in this word so much that they're no longer, you know, uh, plugged into this system. They believe in this word so much that they're not, no longer deceived by the, by the devil. Like Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race, with all these lies telling you, you know, that, hey, okay, now all of a sudden, everything's cool between us, you know. But here, take this, take this medicine. And, you know, be a part of us now after all this time and all this bullshit, you know. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such are escaped of the house of Jacob. Right. Because they're going to um, make it hard for you to get the things that you need to survive unless you bow down to this image of the beast. You know, become that perpetual slave by taking that M.A.R.K. You know, all or whatever the hell else they tell you to do. But no. Prophecy says that, and they shall, 
And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, Yahweh Shema the Holy One of Israel in truth. You know, when this devil tell you, oh, you can't know you, you're going to have to do it this way. No, but the scripture tells us we're not, you know, there's going to be that time where you just say, you know what? I'm with you. How about you, my shot? I cannot, I can't, I can't do that, man. You, you're asking too much now. You're going, you're, you're going too far because we are, we belong to you. How about you, my shot? You know, we won't, we're not going to be raped by you. We're not going to bow down to that image. We're not going to do it, bro. I'm going to wrap it up. Just going to close it out with the book of Luke, chapter 17, verse 33. So whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. And it's simple as that. Because we're throwing ourselves, you know, at the mercy of Yahweh by Shemasha. Hoping and praying to be a part of that 144 elect number that are to be preserved, you know, from these sad perils. The ones that are escaped, the remnant. We're hoping to be a part of that. You know, so we're, we're, we're not seeking to save our life. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it, man. So we're gonna lose our life for the for the name's sake of Yahweh by Shema Shah, bro. You know? As the stripper proclaims, for as for me and my house, we're gonna serve you how about Shema Shai. So man, hopefully this was edifying. Well, uplifting, man. Uh, just living the word of truth. Being doers of the word, not hearers only. Having total faith and belief in belief in, in belief in you how about Shema Shai. So with that, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word. Father Lamb, wherever goeth. Shalom Israel. Shalom.